Hi, I'm Ben Felder with the Oklahoma Gazette, and today is Tuesday, June 3rd, and the Oklahoma City Council held its regular weekly meeting here at City Hall. Today, the council heard budget presentations from three city departments as the council continues to move forward on eventually adopting a new general budget for the next fiscal year, which begins on July 1st. The uh, first department that the council heard from today was the Development Services Department, which oversees code enforcement. Now, a few things of uh, note from the uh, code enforcement department is they have 33 field officers who will switch from clipboards and cameras to tablets this summer, modernizing their process of uh, enforcing codes throughout the city. Uh, yard parking citations have become a focus uh, for the Code Enforcement Department as the number of annual citations for cars parked in yards has grown from just over 3,000 in 2012 to over 11,000 uh, this year alone. Uh, the department said that the uh, city council had approved a couple years ago some additional enforcement personnel to help them monitor yard parking throughout the city. One thing that has changed for the code enforcement department is that it had originally planned to hire 11 new workers to go along with the city's new vacant and abandoned property registry. Uh, you may recall that the state legislature uh, essentially nixed, uh, banned all uh, registry systems for cities across the state, uh, which leaves Oklahoma Oklahoma City in a little bit of a limbo and what to do next. Uh, city manager Jim Couch said he wasn't sure what the city's next step would be, that they were consulting with their legal team. Uh, the Code Enforcement Department would like to go ahead and leave the additional 11 new positions in next year's fiscal budget uh, until they determine what their next course of action will be. The plan was to create a registry that would require um, owners of vacant and abandoned properties, whether it's a home or a, a commercial building, to register with the city of Oklahoma city and also pay a fee it was going to be that fee that was going to help pay for these new positions as of right now it's not sure where uh, the funds would come for or come from in order to uh, increase the number of code inspectors that would focus on vacant and abandoned property city manager Jim couch also gave the the council a presentation on a proposal to take some extra funds for next fiscal year and put them towards enhanced transit services that would also include expanding a couple of routes to evening service right now Oklahoma City is without any type of evening bus service in fact Oklahoma City is the largest city in America without nighttime bus service uh, this would be a baby step uh, for the city as it's just a couple of routes that would uh, go past uh, 730 up until midnight uh, but it's a step in the right direction as many on the council have asked uh, for the city to move towards evening service now you can read more about that proposal in this week's Oklahoma Gazette and also at okgazette.com well, the City Council is expected to have a budget public hearing on June 10th before it uh, votes for final adoption of the new budget that would go into effect on July 1. Well, for the Oklahoma Gazette, in front of a loud City Hall here in downtown Oklahoma City, I'm Ben Felder.